Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today guys, the thing that I want to talk about is this brand new Andrew Luck Final Edition item that came into the game yesterday. Now, I didn't have time to actually go out here and put out a video, but this is a card that I have been waiting for for months now. Uh, I was expecting at some point that there would be some sort of, you know, Andrew Luck, whether it be the team of the year item or I don't know, something that would be an upgraded Andrew Luck item that would come out before this. I mean, we've seen other quarterbacks, Ben Roethlisberger, we saw Tony Romo get an upgraded card. We had not seen Andrew Luck get an upgraded item since middle season awards. Yes, and yes, he had a 97 overall item, which is still pretty darn good. But when you compare it to the fact that there are, I don't know, a dozen and a half, two dozen, 99 overall quarterbacks at this point in Madden, it seems like. I mean, it really blows my mind that a guy who led the league in touchdowns this past year and was ridiculous. I think he was like third in yards, led the league in touchdowns. Um, I mean, he was just money all season. Andrew Luck arguably the league MVP this past year. Um, and the fact that he didn't have a card before this that was a 99 kind of blows my mind. But I want to talk to you guys specifically about why I think that this card is being undervalued right now, at least under the current price structure that we have at quarterback. So if you go out here and you actually compare this card, I currently have the honors Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, excuse me, as my quarterback. So I want to show you guys why I believe that this Andrew Luck item is being highly underpriced. Right now, this Andrew Luck is going for about 300 to 320,000 on the PlayStation 4, whereas Aaron Rodgers is going for about 290 to 300,000. So there's about a 10 to 20,000 coin range between these two items. But I'm going to tell you guys, when you're comparing 99 overall items, and most of the people that have 99 overall players have a pretty good team, so they're not really worried about 20,000 coins. This is not really even close. Aaron Rodgers is lower than Andrew Luck in basically every single attribute. There really isn't anything that Aaron Rodgers is better in. I mean, if you look at the speed, three higher for Andrew Luck. The awareness, fair enough, Aaron Rodgers is too higher. But what I will say is that when you're using a quarterback, you are the awareness. There's not another person controlling Aaron Rodgers or Andrew Luck. So to me, I don't really care about the awareness unless there's some weird thing about quarterback awareness that makes you throw inaccurately or something like that that we've never really been able to show on screen. Um, I, I'm not overly worried about awareness. That's probably the attribute that I care least about for quarterbacks. Now, obviously, if you're playing in solo challenges, it's frustrating to play against those players that have the higher awareness, but we're not really that worried about it when we're controlling the player. Throw power, they're the exact same at 99. Ridiculous. Very nice. Throw accuracy short, they're the exact same, both of them at 100. Now the throw accuracy mid and throw accuracy deep attributes for Andrew Luck are both one higher than Aaron Rodgers, as well as his play action, and he's more elusive as well. So if you're running with Andrew Luck, you're going to see not only the speed advantage, but also the elusive advantage. Now let's go in here and take a look at some of these other attributes because Andrew Luck has some hidden attributes that are also higher than Aaron Rodgers. Four higher for agility, four higher for strength. Acceleration five higher. So again, his speed is going to be better than Aaron Rodgers pretty much across the board. He's going to have better acceleration, better speed, and better movement with the ball in his hand. His carrying is also higher at a 75 versus a 70. And I think that's actually going to be significant as you go through and you're trying to run with your quarterback because I know a lot of people like to do that with these more mobile, you know, 90 speed quarterbacks. Then you take a look at things like his trucking. Now, I do not recommend that you truck with your quarterback. Don't get me wrong, this is not something that you want to do, but if you're at the goal line or something like that and you're trucking, that's actually something you could consider doing with Andrew Luck. He has 69 versus an Aaron Rodgers with only a 47. Again, his elusiveness, six higher. His ball carrier vision is better as well, so he's not going to run into the linemen quite as often either. Also, 80 speed versus 77 speed. 89 juke versus uh, spin, excuse me, um, the uh, 89 juke versus the 84 juke. I mean, it's Aaron Rodgers is lower across the board at literally everything other than awareness that we care about. And uh, that, I think, is very, very significant. I'm definitely looking to acquire this Andrew Luck. I hope you guys will go out here and take a look at this card, too, because at 320000 or so, 
this is to me a very very good buy i i feel like you're gonna see this card kind of fluctuate a little bit it might go up a little bit but if you start to see them around 310 to 325,000, I would highly recommend that you go out here and purchase this Andrew Luck because again, it's a better version of the the honors Aaron Rodgers. That's basically what you're getting here out of this item. So again, guys, Good luck with pulling all of the final edition items that are, you can currently get to actually put together and create your own Andrew Luck. But if you can't do that, go out there and buy this thing because I think you're going to be very, very happy with it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.